welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the boat gang. I got the Blackjack 42, the Horizon Harbor Tug as a recovery boat, and the Sonic Wake V2 out here at the speed run spot. I got a little crosswind today, uh, not quite as rough as it was yesterday. I uh, got a change in the wind direction, so I figured I'd try to speed run spot out. Uh, so stick around, stick around. Big B with Ironclad RC. So yeah, yeah you guys, um, I got some Spectrum 6S packs for the Blackjack 42 and um, I've actually got the G2 Spectrum 4S packs in the 42 at the moment. We're going to start off with 8S on this guy. The V2, I've actually got uh, the cheap RC LiPo in here at the moment so I can kind of do a, a pre pre-run test i've got my boat set up for a speed run with an abc prop on and then we'll throw the 9500 once i kind of feel the boat out I lifted my trim tabs up a, like a millimeter there so they're not bit not in line with the bottom of the boat today okay um yesterday she was wanting to kind of nose dive in in like a when it came out the water and a jump and i actually moved my strut down uh, basically, basically in line with the ride pads. All right, so we got the Oxtine Marine 56 pitch and an ABC 1716 on the V2. So uh, let's see what we should, let's see what we can do. I'm gonna get everything plugged in, and then I'll come back once we start the speed run. Now I do want to mention uh, when I'm running my boats, if you see the boat like do something crazy all of a sudden, the odds are I hit like a bait fish in the water. Right here, it's like brackish fresh brackish water and uh, I don't know if you guys can see it but there's little schools of like mullet swimming around they're top water fish and a lot of times when those mullet uh, what I think when the mullet hit my my rudder okay it'll actually cause the boat to boom nosedive you know you're going 50 mile an hour and then you hit something with the with the rudder it's going to actually pick up the back of the boat and kind of push the front of the boat down so if you see the boat do something crazy like that it's more than likely a freaking bait fish that I hit you know uh, the perks of uh, living on the coast you know what I'm saying so which boat do I want to start off with hmm. let's do the let's do the 42 because it's actually somewhat nice right now so let's do the 42 first all right recording Okay, got the G2 Spectrum batteries in here. All right, 100C 5000 4S packs. You can't see them. I got them covered up with this foam so they don't move around. And I, I don't have them pushed all the way forward. Got them maybe, uh, maybe two inches from the front as far as you could push them forward. And I'm just going to tape up the boat real quick. She actually ran really good yesterday, 66 miles an hour. Uh, in that rough water so um, hopefully I can keep it down because I've actually changed up my my tune on the boat I probably should have kept it the way it was because it was running really good I may need to push those trim tabs down back down in line with the with the bottom of the boat probably need to do that but um we're gonna run it real quick do one run all right and I want to see how the boat's acting with this crosswind and uh, we kind of go from there with it, you know, feel the boat out. This is my third day, you know, having the boat back out. I hadn't ran the boat in four months. So, um, you know, I'm just kind of feeling the boat out, trying to get, get her tuned back in. I've done a lot of work to the boat. And last night I actually worked on the blueprint a little bit. Uh, so... So this boat, you know, I blueprinted it here. You guys can see my blueprint job. I kind of um, took a little bit more off the instant backs of these ride pads. You know, I can actually stick my finger. See how they're like angled? You guys see how they're like curved out and in? So let's see what she'll do here. I got the recovery boat ready. Get you guys zoomed in. Yep, it's early in the day. Oh, is the wind switching directions? Oh, 
All right, so the wind's coming from that direction, so it's basically on my back here. So I probably need to start here and run out with the wind. So let's do that first for this first run. All right, let's see what she does. Full trigger. Nice, she's stuck down. All right, let's come back into the wind here. Ooh, yes, sir. Oh, some steering trim. Oh, man, I might leave it like it was, like it is. I'll, uh, I'll try to put it on that picnic table over there in a second so you guys can see my setup. All right. I'm going to get, get set up for a long run with the wind. Full trigger. Just had a power cut. Big prop. I actually set my strut down into the water deeper than it was yesterday. And uh, I got on it too hard just now. So I need to probably pick my strut up a little bit. Hilo, hilo. We get those we get those helicopters all day every day. All day every day. Alright, so let's get it. Linear throttle. Full trigger. Nice run. Nice clean run. All right, I'm going to come back into the wind. I feel breeze on my back. Let's see how she does. Into the wind. Into the wind. Woo! Oh, man, she's running good. I don't know if I want to mess with anything. Oh, that tune right there is actually on point, you guys. Oh, I hope I'm recording. Yes. All right, one more time here. And then we'll do some laps. I know you guys are tired of seeing speed runs. Full trigger. Oh, that was clean, you guys. Oh, I got this tune right. Let's do some laps. Full trigger. Full trigger. Spun out there. Drifting, drifting. This is for my oval guys. All right. For my oval guys. I know you guys don't want to see speed runs all day, every day. I have certain boats that I build for speed runs. I have certain boats I build for ovals. I have boats I build for bashing. That's our battery. Nice. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. I might do a slow mo on that. Yeah, I have a lot of guys that complain about my slow motion. You know, the sound of the slow motion. I have a lot of guys that complain about the sound of the slow motion, and then I have a lot of guys that actually like to hear the boat in that slow motion, you know? Like, I enjoy listening to the boat in the slow motion. You can hear the waves hitting the bottom of the boat. You can hear the revs, you know, in between wakes. Uh, oh, man. Yeah, I like the slow motion sound, but look at the wind. It's peeling it back now. All right. Man, I'm interested to see the speed on this, you guys. Let's see here. I got my temp gun. Let's check temps. Because it's like 100 degrees out here today, you guys. I'm, I'm burning up. 71, boys. 71. All right. Boom. 71, huh? <laughs> all right. So it can, it, it can only go up from there. 71 mile an hour. All right. Boom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's only my third run out with the boat after after building it, okay? And it can only get better from here. I'm, I'm fine-tuning and filling the boat out. 
So with that 50 millimeter Oxteen, we got 128. Back of the end bell, 151. That's hot. That's hottest I've had that motor. And the ESC 147. Where the wires are, 146. The actual wires, 139. The caps, 156. All right, so now I kind of got a baseline for the boat. All right, uh, what I'm thinking about doing is using a flow pack, cap pack on this Firma. All right, I'm gonna put some bullets here, bullet here, solder on a wire with a little bullet and put a flow pack, cap pack on there, okay? Um, I actually had a little power cut when I, on my second run, I got on it real hard. It got a little, you know, antsy. And um, I got on it hard and it cut power. So what a cat pack is going to do, it's going to, that's basically a power drop ripple um, throughout the system. And that flow pack should stop that ripple and alleviate the power cut at high speed. All right. I, you know, guys have been using cat packs in the, in the, in the ground game for, for a long time. And, uh, you know, RC boaters do too, but it's not it's it's more common in rc cars you know not so much the rc boat game so uh, i'm gonna start incorporating cat packs into all of my boats you know all of my high performance boats you know and um it, it's gonna be a game changer it really is um i'm thinking about getting that hydra if the old lady let me if i could twist the old lady's arm hard enough <laughs> the hydra xlx2 uh oh man this thing's gonna be a beast with that bad boy I like seeing you guys go fast. I really do. I, I like watching other videos and, you know, uh, watching guys go fast. That's why I go over my whole setup with you guys. So you can see how high I got my, my trim tab off the, off the ride surface. Okay, not quite flat. And I got my strut, um, well, on this table, it's kind of wonky here, but my strut on a flat top, it's the back of my strut is in line with the trim tabs in the bottom, okay? Basically, everything's set down flat on a flat top. My, my trim tabs were actually like a millimeter higher, okay? Uh, this table, like I said, is kind of odd. But I, I like seeing you guys go fast, man. I, you know, I really do. And I, and I like showing you guys my setup when I can. Um, you know, because it actually takes a lot of time, a lot of work to get these boats right. And, uh, you know, if I could save somebody months and months of tinkering and testing, uh, you know... I, that's why that's why I do what I do. I love I love promoting the boat and hobby and watching guys go fast. So let's go fast with the V2. Okay, let's go fast with the V2. We interrupt this regularly scheduled programming to bring you guys another mail day. All right, uh, this is from Josh Kolk, Josh K. Uh, you know the owner and creator designer of the Dead Ahead RC Boat lineup. Uh, Josh, I appreciate it, brother. I appreciate it. Uh, if you guys have anything you want to send to the channel, whether it's something funny, something products, you know, extra odd and end things you're not using for boats, uh, by all means, you know, contact me through email. Emails in the description on my videos. Uh, we we'll kind of go from there with it. So he actually sent some. Uh, I guess this is like carbon fiber, carbon Kevlar. Uh, Got a couple different types here. Um, he, he, he actually mentioned in one of my videos that I wasn't familiar with working with carbon fiber, uh, carbon Kevlar. And he actually sent me a few little squares here, I guess, so I can like familiarize myself with the process of laminating, laying up carbon fiber Kev Kevlar. Uh, he, you know, it's a couple small sheets, which will be perfect for making, you know, battery trays, motor mounts, etc servo mounts for some of my custom builds okay um you got a black one there and a black and blue which really is nice man um man i'm excited about this i mean just little things like this man it tickles me to death you guys josh i appreciate it brother uh so we're actually uh, you know he actually designed built and sent me this water bobber that i've built i actually need to get it back on the water I hadn't run it in a couple weeks, so uh, we'll be doing that here shortly. So something for you guys to look forward to. And another little project we're going to be doing, working on, is the wet pedal. Okay, I got a motor in mind. I've got a motor mount in mind. And uh, maybe we'll use some of the carbon fiber Kevlar here for the wet pedal. So uh, thank you, man. Thank you very much. Very thoughtful. And I do appreciate any and all donations to the channel. It helps me out. helps build the channel. So thank you. Back to the regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> Alright, so 71. 
that's freaking sick my third outing with the boat since i've rebuilt it and and re revamped the whole 42 that's sick you guys oh man oh man so uh let's see what the v2 has in it i got my speed run prop on here but i don't have my speed run battery in at the moment we're going to throw this 9500 in there once i kind of feel out the boat and see what she's doing here um so let's just kind of feel her out see what what what's going on with old sonic wake hadn't had her at the speed run spot in a minute i don't think i'm gonna tape this guy here up because she's actually really really watertight as she is maybe i'll yeah i think she'll be good <laughs> all right so my v2 here um I brung a ruler out so I could show you guys my setup here. I always bring a ruler when I'm going to a speed run. I don't know if you guys can see, I got a little bit of down trim and some positive thrust. Okay, just a little bit, like a very small amount of positive thrust. All right, so the wind's actually picking up a little bit here. Same direction. Hopefully I got you guys zoomed in. All right, let's get it. Linear throttle, full trigger, full trigger. Great, googly moogly. Boss, baby. Into the wind. wanting to pick up a little bit into the wind it's actually quite breezy but it's blowing inland you know from behind the trees there so I'm thinking I'm thinking that that big battery when I put that big battery in here that should hold the boat down in a straight okay keep my CG forward I got my CG forward right now with that small battery and it's actually on point with the wind. So another linear throttle pull here with the offshore electrics 150. Nice. This is a 100C pack, but it's a cheap pack. All right, do a couple ovals for you oval guys. All right. I forgot I had a big prop on. Can't really do ovals. <laughs> oh, yeah, can't really do ovals with this prop. I can, I can, but uh, I can't do speed run and ovals. <laughs> Yep, I lost this prop about a month ago, and I bought another one. I got it reshaped up and balanced, polished. All right, cheap lipo. Woo, she's kind of puff, too. All right, 66 with the cheap lipo. That's not bad. That's not bad with that cheap lipo in. All right, so uh, the boat actually seemed like she was running pretty good, so I think I'm going to leave everything alone. Yeah, she got a little puffy there. Another helo flying by. Uh, hopefully, maybe that we'll see one of those Ospreys today. I'll video that. The Ospreys are cool to watch, man. Um, I, I used, me and my wife, we used to go over to the, the Air Force Base and watch them take off and land. You know? Oh, man, it was cool. So I'm going to push this 65, 9500 all the way up. clear out our 66 on our last pass record maybe all the stars will align and we'll beat my my pb make sure i'm recording record 
My PB with this boat is 71 on 6S. All right, we got 6S in it today. No water in the boat from that last run. 6S. And everything's cleared out and ready to roll. So I'm going to try to get 71 or better, hopefully. I uh, hadn't really done any modifications to this prop. I hadn't cut the leading edge down or anything. It's basically, basically a stock 1716. Just finished balancing and sharpening it. And uh, she's actually running good, but I'm going to actually take a little bit off the leading edge right here, close to the tongue. Uh, so I can get the boat spinning higher RPM, the prop, anyway. Here we go, linear throttle pull with the 9500. Full trigger. Gee! So she's actually running a little wet. I might need to push that battery back. Let's do one more pass. The battery's warmed up. Let's get one more in, and then we'll uh, push that battery back for the next run. All right, here we go. Lenny, your throttle pull, full trigger. Oh, damn! That was a big flip, boys. That was a big flip, boys. Mm, 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 mm. So I'm going to keep the battery where it's at. Let's check the speed. Into the wind. All right, my CG got moved around there. I could tell. After a flip, sometimes you got to check your CG. You know, check your uh, all your hardware, your stinger, your, your trim tabs. Because a big flip will actually move all that stuff out of position these big big turn fins i have on the boat i put them on this boat for speed runs okay uh they do help in the turn but i got them on the boat for speed runs uh when the boat's you know chine walking at high speed that big turn fin right there actually acts as a vertical stabilizer kind of like a micro turn fin okay uh you know i'm just walking you guys through my boats what i do to them to try to get high speed you can take it how you want it you know i i don't know everything but uh, you know uh there's a lot of guys out there that are getting into the hobby that that don't know all this stuff and and it's and uh, you know you probably hear me repeat myself a lot in my videos but i mean there's only so much to an rc boat only so much i can go over with you guys and uh, like I said earlier, with the Blackjack 42, I like to see you guys going fast, man. Anything I could do to help you guys go fast, that's what, I, you know, that's what I'm here for. That's why I started my channel, man. 72, yes, yes, on 6S. 70 freaking 2. Woo! Yes, sir, buddy. That's my PB right there. 72 on 6S. I'm creeping up on speeds that guys are getting on 8S. I'm getting these speeds on 6S, you guys. I, and I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but, you know, guys are throwing 8S in the freaking boat, all right, and, uh, you know, getting 79, 80 mile an hour. I'm getting 72 on 6S, 22.2 volts, okay? And again, I'm going to put, I'm going to, I'm going to, I think I'm going to take off this stock cat pack. Uh, I'm not sure how I want to do it. I don't know if I should cut those wires short or keep them long and, um, you know, solder that, you know, bullets on this for my flow pack or solder the flow pack on the main battery leads. I wonder if I could keep this cap pack and put the, the flow pack on here, you know, because I'm going to put bullets so I can put it on from boat to boat. Uh, so, you know, if anybody has any ideas for that, like keep it and put the flow pack on there or, you know, I don't know. So y'all, you know, comment in the comment section. Y'all help me out with that. Oh, <laughs> damn, boys! I almost want to go home, huh? <laughs>
All right, so let's check the temps here because she actually feels a little warm. 136, 139 on the ESC. A lot of guys are like, you know, they're scared to get this 150 fly color. The 150 fly color, they're kind of scared to get it because of the price. You know, the 150 fly color is a great ESC. The OSE 150, basically the same thing, but the, the 150 hands down is a better ESC choice than the fly color. It comes with a stock cat pack, all right? Um, so everything on this boat's basically stock, except for the ESC and the stinger, all right, and the turn fins. I changed the turn fins, the stinger, and the ESC, you know, boom, boom. All right, you guys seen my setup on both boats. I'm gonna call it a video. You guys don't wanna stick around and watch me do ovals, do you? I didn't even have to use a recovery boat. I'm freaking tickled to death, you guys. I'm tickled to death. So, uh, 72 knots and no freaking smoke. Come on. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. All right, Big B with Ironclad RC. Channel where we tinker, test, and go fast as hell. Ha, ha, ha.